of it. But this is so cool. Like, look at that. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Jurassic World Evolution 2! The Thunder DLC! Chicken noises! <laughs> so, it just came to my attention that I did miss one of the animations, or the big animation, uh, in the DLC. And that was because I had too many things in the enclosure, and this one, particularly, needs a little bit of wiggle room to move, and that's why the Uteranus uh, oh, sorry, not the Uteranus, the Allosaur and the Dinochirus just wouldn't seem to work together because they needed that extra space. So I've deleted everything out here and now we'll get to see just what kind of show that they can put on. First, we need to get rid of this little guy. And here is our combatant, yes. I will get it to work this time, just you watch. <laughs> come on, come on, baby. You got this. Give it to me. Allosaur's about to die. Oh, okay. Okay, fair enough. Allosaur can get in one more hit, you know, before we, we sort of incite the final incident. But will we be able to? Because they're in a corner again. <laughs> that, that is it. That's the luck. Oh, he looks so depressed. He's like, I would have died, but I'm in a corner. Oh, well. <laughs> All right, guys, I know. We'll put you in a place where it's in a big open space. There we go. We've placed them in a big open arena. Now they're faced with no other option but to do the animation, damn it. We'll see it normally, and then maybe we'll we'll do a slow down version of it. But this is so cool. Like, look at that. <laughs> oh, they're kicking their head. Wow. The Dino, the Dino Chiris, Dino Chiris, whatever you want to call it. It sensed the fear. It smelt it like a dog does, and then chased after it. But that's the first time. I think we've seen basically a large carnivore kind of just give up and <laughs> try and run away. <laughs> But the Dinocaris doesn't give up the hunt. That's amazing. I love that it's almost an accidental death. It's not like a deliberate one, but it looks so freaking cool though. Oh, here we go. So the Allosaur, after Raw, is like, oh god, I'm out of here. It tries to run away. The Dinocaris sort of just stumbles upon it, trips over. It doesn't mean to do this. I don't even know what its, its end game is. And bonks it on the head and then almost is like, oh. Oh, wait, you're, you're not moving? Oh, cool. Okay. So if the Allosaur just didn't run away and it just played dead, then maybe it would have been okay. But it ran. Okay, what I want to do is actually get a good view of it as if the Allosaur's running towards us, the camera, and the Dino Karras just, like, trips over. It's going to be beautiful. Okay, let's see. Which way is he going to run? Which way is he going to run? Okay, he's, he's running. I think he's going to run this way. So let's just see how it does it. Oh, no. Yeah! <laughs> And then, boop, with a kick of the head. Beautifully done. You're welcome. Now, if that was all we had to offer in this video, it would be very short. So, because this is a feather DLC, why don't we put a little bit of a twist on things and do a battle royale. Feathered and only battle royale. And here we are in the battle arena. Our contestants, Dinocaris and Morris Intrepidus, Overaptor, Paraptor, Sinopterus, uh, Tyrannosaurus Rex, Eutyrannosaurus, and Therizinosaurus. Uh, I think they are the only ones that technically are feathered. The T-Rex, of course, we're using the 75 million year old skin. Um, but apart from that, I don't think there's any more. Now, rules go. If you're a normal sized creature, there is only one of you. But if you're a small or a pack hunting creature, then you're allowed three. So, let's see how they do, shall we? And of course, first, without further ado, we have to release Feathered Rexy. Sort of an afterthought. And if I'm going to be honest, the design kind of seems a bit of an afterthought as well. But there it is. The original Rexy. Your Tyrannus. Welcome with your beautiful white skin with a little icy tips on the top. There is an Asaurus next. What kind of color there is an Asaurus? Well, it doesn't really matter because they're all feathered skins. But a lovely bluey green one there. Nice. Look at it. As tall as a tree. Why? God knows. <laughs> it just is. But I kind of like that skin, actually. That's pretty nice. On to the next one. Our Dino Kairos. I love how the camera is facing the, the other way. You know, where we're going to only look at dark shadows. Well, well done there. How about we get a, a better look at it from a nice angle? Yeah, there we go. 
dark color with a white stripe running down. Is that going to make it more fast? I don't know. We'll find out. Our next one, you know, like a baby Rexy, I suppose. You could do like this guy, Morris Intrepidus. You could do Uteranus. And then Feathered Rex. You could have a whole life cycle of Feathered T-Rexes if you wanted to, I suppose. I mean, they're kind of all relatives of T-Rex, I think. Onto the Oviraptor, which is the only kind of small feather creature that doesn't hunt in a pack. Uh, so here it is, by itself. Unfortunately, again, a dinosaur that I'm pretty sure has, like, no animations with anything. So it can't really kill anything either. It's dead weird. Next, a pack of Pyroraptors. Yes. Oh, oh, they're all the Dominion skin. I'm pretty sure I set them to random. Maybe I didn't. Well, there's two there. There should be a third one. There's the third one. Gorgeous. And last, but certainly not least, our newest additions to Jurassic World Evolution 2, the Sinosauroptrix. I know I said its name wrong before, but I'm making up for it now. <laughs> and they're beautiful! And they're little red panda skins. Who will be our first casualties of war? We have tiny little Morris Intrepidus here running around, right? And we have this Sinosauroptrix. They should have a battle animation. Copies in Evolution 1, the first game had attacking animations with each other. And yet for some reason, Frontier decided to go, eh, yeah, none of that. And we have even more tiny little things running about. It's so weird. Well, I think this little Morris Intrepidus is about to meet its end. There you go. Well, one down, only three left to go, isn't it? The first casualty has been decided. Oh, and I, oh, do we have, oh, yep, yep. We got Dino Kairos facing off against Rexy. I'm kind of excited to see how this one's going to go. Oh, oh, the first hit from Rexy herself. Yeah, it's not looking good for the Dinochirus. Although I would love to see if that animation translates to a T-Rex. Like a T-Rex tries to run away and it's like, no, you don't. You get hugs. Each have, you know, they've given each other scars. But I really think the T-Rex is, is, is going to be more powerful here. And definitely she wins reign supreme of the Feathered Kingdom. <laughs> Yeah, there's, there's only one Morris Intrepidus left. Oh, no. No looking good for those guys. We could be in this situation here with only one winner. That's quite impressive if the Pyraptors just eat all of the tiny little babas. Oh, Uteranus picking a very clever fight against an already beaten down Dino Kairos. I will be very surprised if the Uteranus somehow doesn't win this one. Is it going to be a straight out two hits from the Uteranus? Oh, it, it is. But Dinochirus is surviving and actually gets a hit in. Look at it. The little brother of the... Oh, no, there it goes. Taking out your one salvation against the T-Rex and you've killed it. <laughs> Blum and dirty kill stealer. T-Rex contests the body and gets a reward. And also, we've got a power raptor hunting down a Sinoroptrix. Oh, no! No, I didn't get it! No! Little Sinoptrix. Oh, well. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. In real big danger now. We could do this one in slow motion. <gasps> oh, there. Picks it up, shakes it, and I think it eats it whole. Oh, what a shame. You hate to see it. No! Oh, bless it! It looks, it looks even worse, the fact that this thing's all furry and cute. And then it's killer. It looks like this, for God's sake. Could you get more villainous if you tried? Answer, no, you definitely couldn't. No. Oh. <laughs> the only dinosaur that has multiple species is the Pyroraptor now. And because we have the ability, let's see this in slow motion. Rexy being taken on by the Pyroraptor squad. Oh, oh, yes, it is. I was thinking maybe it was just going to be one. Oh, that is, is she going to be able to cling on? No, no, not being able to cling on for too long there. The other one helps out, but where is the third? I don't even see the other Pyroraptor. So far, it's only going to be two of them. And I don't know if they're going to be able to take on Rexy. And it's taking too long. Let's put normal speed. Yeah. So far, Rexy hasn't managed to grab any of the Pyroraptors. And the Pyroraptors aren't looking like they're taking damage. Oh, wait, no! No! Oh, they're both dead! No, that's it! The third one was the smart one. Maybe they could have been able to have, like, stood a chance if they had all worked together. But no, two deaths right there. And Rex has taken no damage, leaving the one smart Pyroraptor by itself. All right, 
It's weighing its options and it's taking on the Therizinosaurus. And that was a bad idea. Oh, no. <laughs> I think it's regretting its decision. Oh, yes, very much so. This thing's a lot longer, a lot more vicious. It's got longer fingernails, that's for sure. More feathers and probably, probably more teeth. I mean, this is Jurassic World we're talking about here. And it loses. Got too big for its boots. It thought it could take on Dino Caris, and it did. But Dino Caris was already wounded. And now the Therisinosaurus looks like it's going off to finish the job. And while we weren't looking, the Pyroraptor finished off the final member of the Morris Intrepidus species. So now it's only Cynosauropteryx left. Oh, wait a second. The Uteranus just died. Well, there you go. Its scars were too much from the Therisinosaurus, and it seemed to have just died. Probably by embarrassment. <laughs> This leaves T-Rex and Therizinosaurus to duke it out for first place. Oh, I didn't mean you had to do it now, but all right. I guess we'll do it, I suppose. The biggest feathered boys in the entire game. Uh, oh, looks like T-Rex is going to win this one. Both have won one battle, I guess. T-Rex made a kill? I didn't even know T-Rex made a kill. Well, Therizinosaurus is bringing the battle a little bit too close to me for comfort. Rexy goes for another hit, but is it going to be enough? Is Therizinosaurus going to get another hit in? Oh, yes, it is. It's very close. But it does appear that uh, Rexy has won this one. And in true Jurassic Park or world style, Jurassic franchise style, Rexy is going to win this one. And the last Cynosauroptrix gets eaten by a Pyroraptor. Lovely little furry noodle. Hold on a minute. Wait. Pyroptor can hunt the Oviraptor? I didn't even know this was a thing. Oh my god, it can. Wow. Oh, okay. Lord knows. Anyway, it's dead, so that's interesting. So we're going to end up with two winners. Pyroptor has basically won the mini cup and survived not attacking a giant dinosaur all at once. It's all about brains, you see. That's what it is. Survival of the fittest, or in this case, the smartest. And the final bout begins. There is an Asaurus against Rexy. All fully recovered. And... Ooh, is it going to be a repeat? I feel like Rexy should kill a Therizinosaurus in two hits. But... Ooh, it's probably because it's had a full chance to recover back to 100%. And this is how it's going to end! The final hit? Oh, not the final hit. Okay, is it going to take two? Is Rexy going to get the second hit in? And boom! There it goes. Down on the floor. Rexy reigns victorious as the biggest and deadliest feather dinosaur in Jurassic World Evolution 2. Well, anyway, guys, if you've enjoyed that video, do look out for the DLC coming soon. I think it's in the next couple of days it'll be out. And thank you again, Frontier, for allowing me early access to sort of showcase all these new different things and the love that they've put into the free update, which is like the viewing log platform and the dome stuff as well, which I haven't really showcased in these videos. But they exist, trust me. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, guys, leave a like. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Oh, bye-bye.